Jay Johnson and started this, the Pocket Drone, and co-founder and chief technology officer here. How do I click this thing? There you go. There. Okay, so we've all seen drones. They're great technology. We've seen them used for media stunts with Amazon, and Taco Copter, to grill uses like search and rescue and aerial video and photography, or absolutely awesome uses like beer delivery to ice fishermen in desperate need. Um, <laughs> But as part of that problem, it's difficult to learn, they're expensive, they're thousands of dollars, and they're so large and inconvenient, they don't actually get used for many of their uses. So a year goes by, and we've spent a lot of time thinking about this problem. Over 100 prototypes later, 42 is the 42nd design version, and we won't even discuss my artistic painting skills that is in these pictures, it's painful. We arrive at what we call the pocket drone. And the one thing I learned more than anything else is no matter what happens, apparently my videos don't work, what you do falls out of the sky every time you mess up when you build a flying robot. So just take that home. If you're going to do it, prepare to break a lot of stuff. Um, so I give you the pocket drone. And no, it is not exactly pocket size. We're going with cargo pants pocket here. Um, it grew over time. Um, <laughs> But our solution was not to make the smallest, lightest thing we could because when you take a really small vehicle and put it outside, it blows away. So we built something that had a lot of power and packed as many features as we could into it. The result was pretty good. It's easily accessible as a consumer price point. It's only $500, $495. It's got a ton of good, well, a ton of autonomous features and it's easy to use and easy to handle. We've built an app behind it and what can we say? Obviously, people like it. Almost a million dollars in sales in our first two months. We've then closed about another $250,000 in sales with zero advertising after the fact. Um, hopefully, we'll be improving the advertising situation here soon. Just trying to get past the man manufacturing and marketing. So, what can it do? It can follow you around automatically. It can take off and land by itself. It can... Wow, I was facing, sorry. Um, <laughs> it can do target tracking. It can do... Um, Tablet-based control, GPS waypoints, and flights, pretty much anything we could come up with at this point, we put into it. And when we look at, a lot of people say to us, why is it so popular? Yeah, sorry, that's small. Um, and versus there's already been drones in the market, what do we need another drone for? The difference is we do more than everyone else out there for less money. We're faster, we fly longer, we've got more features, and we're easier to carry. So. As a thank you to everyone, we've been picked up by the media companies, media presentation has been very good at helping us along and especially having us Verge and here included, so thank you all. Um, where we are today, that's what everyone wants to know. We've done our part selection component suppliers are all done. We're in final manufacturing selection mode and we are hoping to have, we're shooting for delivery mid-summer and debugging software, which is always fun. Uh, the market, what is the market for something we don't even know what the use truly applications are. So, we look at the Air Parrot, they sold about $100 million worth of product and they're just a toy. We've got a ton more applications and features to surpass that. Some people have called us the GoPro, the ultimate GoPro accessory, and they sold a billion dollars worth of cameras last year. We capture a piece of that, we're looking pretty good. That's not even the biggest part of our market that's upcoming. Our commercial market is going to be huge. These are a list of applications that range from power line inspections to gas lines to buildings to roofs that all want to use this technology that reach out and ask us to get it and we're telling them we're not a commercially designed product, we're still an end user product. So when we're placed as the recognizing company that has the ultimate platform, when the commercial applications open up by the FAA in 2015, we're going to be ready to be there and ready to go. So what's next? Why is it not just a one hit wonder? We're building up drone specific applications, a growth store, well a drone end user store, Gimbals, first person video. We've also got some awesome projects in the works, computer recognition and following, wand based control where you can point something at it, it will go where you tell it to go, and a ton of stuff, just way too much. Currently funding, everyone wants to ask. We are self-funded. We are looking for a cap capital investment to bring our difference, to get, help us accelerate our additional products to market. One of the things we need most of all is also help overcome our lag between our pre-order manufacturing and when we begin reselling sales. Because all of our sales right now are pre-orders only. And we're looking to hire people. We are growing rapidly and quickly. OSX, Droid, PC programmers, 
electronics, mechanical engineers, if you guys are interested, come talk to us. Or if you know someone, please let us know. Um, thank you all for your time. And wow, everybody's right on time. Drone user group, if you want to learn more about drones.